Very good morning to one and all and today we are going to start with the problems of activity based costing. So I have written a question on the board, just have a look at it and we will start with the problems. Okay, so it is given the question that Orwell produces three products and the standard quantities as well as cost is given. And you are asked to prepare the cost statement using traditional costing method as well as ABC costing method and you are also asked to compare the results of both the methods. So here the quantities as well as the different cost incurred by three products is given and production overhead is split on the basis of departments that is given the amount is given and it is clearly mentioned that department A is labor intensive and department B is machine intensive and the total labor hours for department A department B is given. And the production overhead is split up by activity. Here production overhead is split up by departments is given. And in case of activity based costing, production overhead is split up by activities. The activities are given and the amount is given. Now. And the number of batches inspected and scheduled are also given. Now. So using this information, you have to prepare product cost statement using traditional method and product cost statement using ABC costing. So, as we discussed the theoretical part of traditional costing, what we have discussed is in traditional costing, on the basis of either direct material, direct labor, or on the basis of man hours, overhead recovery rate is generally found out and that rate is distributed to the products. Clear? So, here it is given the question that total labor hours in department A. So, it means that the overheads are distributed on the basis of labor hours, that is man hours. So let's start doing the solution using the traditional methods. So by using traditional method, what is the cost involved? That is what we are going to start with now. So coming to the first under traditional method, we are going to calculate the overhead recovery rate. Okay, so it is given in the question that Production overhead are split on the basis of departments, isn't it? And it is given that the total labor hours in department A is 3,66,666 and department B it is 10 lakh. It means that production overheads are split up by departments on the basis of labor hours. So overhead recovery rate, so in traditional method, Either on the basis of direct material, direct labor or man hours overhead recovery rate is calculated. So in the given question, labor hours is given. So it means that overhead recovery rate is calculated on the basis of labor hours. Okay, so coming to department A. Okay, so department A is given as labor intensive. Is it better? So for department A, the total production overhead is 22 lakhs. Okay. And it is split up on the basis of labor hours, isn't it? So labor hours is 3,66,666. So the total what you get is rupees 6 per labor hour. Okay. And the next one is for department B. So, department B is given as machine intensive, isn't it? And for department B, the total production overhead is 30 lakhs. So, when 30 lakhs is divided by the total labor hours, that is 10 lakhs, you will get rupees 3 per labor hour. So, your overhead recovery rate is rupees 6 as well as rupees 3. Now we have to start with the product cost statement. Okay. Particulars. You have three products X, Y and Z. Okay. First cost is direct material is given. In the question it is 100, 80 and 60. The next one is direct wages. 
it is given in the question as 60, 80 and 100. Isn't it? Write the same thing. 60, 80 and 100. So the total of this will be your prime cost. The total of this will be your prime cost. So for this you have to add production overhead. Clear? So production overhead you have to add. In the question what is given production overhead is split on the basis of departments. Isn't it? So department A, department B. Okay, so department A is given as labor intensive, isn't it? So take the labor rate, this one. 6. 6 into labor hours is 6, isn't it? 6 into 6, you will get as 36. And for Y, again, it is 6 into 8. You will get as 48. And 6 into 10, you will get as 60. Clear? And department B is machine intensive. So you have to take the machine hours which is given in the question. So what is the overhead recovery rate? 3. 3 into machine hour is 8. Okay, 3 8 hours is 24. Again, 3 into for product 8, it is 24. Again, 3 into, it is 14, isn't it? So, 14 is 42. So, if you total it, you will get as 220 for product X. And total all the Y, you will get 232. Total all the Z, you will get 262. So, this will be your total Cost per unit of product X, Y and Z. Okay, so we have prepared product cost statement using traditional method, isn't it? Now, we have to prepare ABC cost statement. That is using activity based costing, we have to prepare product cost statement. So, in order to prepare product cost statement using ABC, we have to find out the overhead recovery rate. Okay, using ABC method. So, as we have discussed in the theoretical part, in activity based costing, overhead is generally found out on the basis of activities. So, we have to find out the activities. Next, we have to find out the activity pool. And then we have to find the cost driver and on the basis of cost driver we have to find the activity overhead rate. Clear? So that is what we are going to do. So the first thing what we have to find out is we have to find out the activity. Next the activity cost pool. Next the cost driver. The quantity of cost driver. And we have to find out the overhead recovery rate. So, first thing is we have to find out the activity. Next, activity cost pool. That is the total of all the activities. Next, the cost driver. That is the driver for the activity. The factor which causes cost for these activity you have to find out. And what is the quantity of cost driver you are using? That you have to find out. Basing on this, you have to find out the overhead recovery rate. So, in the question, it is clearly given that production overhead is generally split up on the basis of activity. And the activities are given in the question as receiving or inspecting 28 lakhs, production scheduling or setup, it is 24 lakhs, isn't it? So, what are the activities? Receiving or inspecting, production scheduling and setup. Under the activities column, that is what we are going to write. Receiving or inspecting. And the second activity what we have is production scheduling. Okay, these are the two activities. 
next activity cost put that is the total of these activities so just see receiving and inspecting the total is given as 28 lakhs production scheduling or setup it is given as 24 lakhs is it write the same thing 28 lakhs and 24 lakhs okay so the next thing is you have to find the cost driver for these activities so for receiving or inspecting the cost driver is number of purchase requisition now and for production scheduling or setup the cost driver is number of on the basis of setups production scheduling will be done on the basis of inspection or receiving purchase requisition will be done okay so these are the cost drivers which generally cause cost on these activities so this will be your cost driver what are the cost driver per number of purchase requisition and number of setups so this is your cost driver and the next thing is you have to see the quantity of cost driver how much quantity is given so see here number of batches inspected that is your purchase requisition or inspection is given as 10,000 and again number of batches scheduled or set up this is a quantity of cost driver which is given so first one is 10,000 and second one is 1,600 so using this you have to find overhead recovery rate how will you find out total activity cost pool by quantity of cost driver if you will divide you will get as overhead recovery rate that is 28 lakhs divided by 10 lakhs you will get 280 per requisition okay and again 24 lakhs if you divide by 1600 you will get as 1500 setups this is the overhead recovery rate clear so using this overhead recovery rate we will prepare the product cost statement okay so again particulars x y and z so in the question direct material is given as 100 80 60 direct wages is given as 60 80 100 so the total of this will be prime cost okay so what is prime cost so 100 plus 60 is 160, 80, 80, 160, 60 plus 100 is 160. Okay, and next to this you have to add production overhead. So under activity based costing, overhead is generally calculated on the basis of activities, isn't it? So the two activities given in the question is receiving as well as scheduling. So write that, receiving and the next one is scheduling. Now, coming to receiving. So, receiving, what is the overhead rate you got? Okay, that is 280. So, when 280, if you multiply with number of purchase requisitions. So, what is given as number of purchase requisitions? 2400. By the total output, what is the Quantity of produce, it is 20,000, isn't it? So, 20,000. If you will divide, you will get as 33.60. So, this is your receiving cost. Again, in the same manner for the Y. So, what did you get as for the receiving? You got an overhead as 280 into 3,600 by quantity produced is 40,000. If you divide, you will get the answer as 25.20. Again in the same manner, overhead recovery rate is 280 into purchase requisition is 4000. 4000 by how much is the quantity? It is 60,000. Is it? So 60,000, if you divide, you will get the answer as 18.67. So, this is your receiving cost. Now, the second activity is scheduling. For scheduling, what is the overhead cost? 
it is 1500, isn't it? 1500 into scheduling. How much it is given? 480 for x, isn't it? 480 by output is 20,000. So if you divide, you will get the answer as 36. And for the next, for the y, 1500 into set up 520. 520 by output is 40,000. If you divide, we will get the answer as 19.50. Again for the third thing, overhead is 1500 into setups is 600, isn't it? 600 by output is 60,000. If you divide, you will get the answer as 50. Now total all the cost. So you will get as 229.60. And if you total all this, you will get as 204.70. And if you total all this, you will get as 193.67. So this is your total cost per unit. Clear? So this is the total cost per unit. So when you compare the ABC cost with that of traditional cost, what you will find is the product which have costed high in traditional costing is costing low under ABC costing. So if traditional costing is used, it is generally revealed from the problem that it is generally a loss to the entrepreneur. Okay, this is about the first solution.